Hey everybody, how you doing? Last year we were telling you about how every cat in the neighborhood decided my garden was the place to be at night, but it really worked out good for me because if you're a rabbit, I don't think you're going to walk up on that garden to eat a vegetable. But now I've got corn getting destroyed, so it's time to get the trail cam back out and do some investigating. As long as I'm showing you the trail can, I'll give Browning a little plug. There's the model number. It's a pretty nice trail cam for under $100. And we'll get the have a heart trap out. I want to catch a varmint, but I don't want to catch one of my neighbor's cats. So that's going to be a little bit tricky. So immediately we started getting videos of cats. I was wondering if the cats were scratching the corn the way they'd sharpen their claws on a piece of furniture, but it doesn't look like these cats are the slightest bit interested in the corn. And then I got this video. I was deleting videos of cats off the memory card, and I said, wait a second, that's not a cat. So watch this again. And as I watched this video more and more, I said, that's not a cat. But what is this? We've got groundhogs around. We've got rabbits around. We've got possums around. But it doesn't seem to match anything. And we'll try to zoom in. And it's kind of asking too much for a trail cam with a night shot to give you a clear shot when you zoom in. But you, you guys can give me your opinions, your guesses in the comment section. So I came up with a theory. Is this a young juvenile raccoon that hasn't developed the big fluffy striped tail yet? And then I remembered all the way back in 2009, I had a picture of my wife with a, a young orphaned raccoon and the tails didn't match up. But this next video tells me where my problem is. We all know what that animal is. So here we got a full-grown raccoon and he's definitely paying attention to that corn. Now I got a problem, how do I catch it? You could catch a raccoon, you could take some raw hamburger and wrap it around rat poison, but the local cats aren't gonna appreciate that. So I went on the internet and they said try marshmallows. And it's crazy what you catch on these trail cams. Here you get a video of the raccoon walking straight toward the camera. He stops and he pulls something stretchy out of the ground. Did he just eat a worm the way a bird would? So I went out one morning and all the marshmallows were gone from the trap um, without spraying the trap. And then I looked at this video and the raccoon is using the trap to get up on the corn so all my ideas have been brilliant so far i think the trick to catching a raccoon is you've got to be smarter than the raccoon and i'm not that smart here's my cat security team slacking on the job so finally i decide the raccoons after corn so let's use corn as bait i stole some of my wife's sweet corn from the dinner table and the next day i had my raccoon in the trap so that raccoon got relocated, but does that raccoon have some buddies, some brothers and sisters? We'll see if my corn survives this year.